Jesus came teaching the kingdom of God. He did not come teaching religion. Religion hated Jesus because he taught the kingdom of God. I've been teaching the kingdom of God for years. I'm not talking about what you get when you go to heaven. I'm talking about how you deal with life while you're here on the earth so that your life looks like heaven on the earth. Welcome to a new episode of Covenant Connection. You'll receive an anointed and refreshing message today from Pastors Dwayne and Carolyn Broom. You know how you become more like God? You just renew your mind to who you really are. How do you renew your mind? You spend time in the Word, not to study so you can be deep when you get into a group of other deep Christians. Deep Christians who don't get results because they're too busy. They've got head knowledge and no heart. Let me tell you how it works. See, when you've got a heart for God, you love God, you change. You just change. You read and say, oh, man, I've been proud. And you say, Lord, I'll humble myself. I have one of those religious folks. Your God's going to humble you. If he's got to humble you, you're in bad shape. The Bible doesn't say God comes along to humble you. He talked about that in, in the book of Deuteronomy, how he humbled them. That not, now, God was dealing with the people, but dealing with you individually, he tells you to humble yourself. You're God's people. You're God's children. You, got, you already got his nature and character. You just have to cultivate who you are. When you got born again, when the life of Jesus Christ came into the inside of you, your DNA changed, you became one with him. How can you be one with him and not be like him? It's hard for religion. Religion chokes on this because they want you to be all messed up. You got you 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 just so you just you just gotta repent over everything. You just wicked. God says you've been made righteous. You can't unmake something that's made. You can't unmake righteous. You can act unrighteous, but you can't be anything other than what you are. You are legally righteous. In the sight of God, when you got born again, you are legally righteous. You are right with God. Legally. Now, experientially, that's a faith fact. That's a faith issue. Because, see, you can have something legal and not enjoy it. You can have a, a, a perfectly legal position and never enjoy the benefits of something legal. Legally, in this, in this nation, people have the legal right to vote. But they never have to experience it. You have the, the legal right to bear arms. But you can live without a gun. Husbands and wives, you have a legal right to make love. Don't want to go there. <laughs> you know, I had to start some trouble at some point, you know. And by the way, let, let, me, let me say this. The Lord put this on my heart in the office. Faith does not require proof. Faith does not require proof. Faith, I believe it, I'm speaking it, I'm walking out something. I don't require proof for faith. It ain't faith. Don't let people tell you they believe God, but they require proof. You don't believe, you're, you're lying. It's too, and, and, and for too long, we've, 